In this video, I will be installing the Athena operating system and will guide you step by step on how to install it on VirtualBox. Athena OS is a new open source Arc based Linux distribution focused on cybersecurity. It's designed for penetration testing, bug bounty hunting, and InfoSeq students. The name of the project, as a fan fact, comes from Athena, the ancient goddess associated with wisdom, handicraft, and warfare. So before we move on, if you're new to the family, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss our future videos. First thing first, you have to download the necessary softwares. For this, you will need the latest version of both a thin operating system and VirtualBox. I have provided the official links in the description of this video. Once you have downloaded the VirtualBox, it's time to install it. If you don't know how to install the VirtualBox, you can watch this video. The link will be provided in the description as well. So, now let's go. So, in order to download the files, just open your favorite browser. For the VirtualBox, type VirtualBox. In the first link that appears, click on it. Uh, type Oracle Virtual Machine or here. Come to the downloads and you can just download according to your operating system. If you're Windows host, Mac OS, Linux distribution and just click on it and download it. So I have previously downloaded and installed a virtual box. I don't need to download it. For the Athena operating system, just type Athena OS. In the first link that appears, click on it, athenaos.org, and you will find the Athena operating system here. For that, you, to, you just need to click on the link to download. It will guide you to the GitHub repository of the Athena operating system, and they will give you two options to download, either two. Uh, download from false torrents or the sourceforge.net. If you want to download from the first source here, click here. And if you download it from forest torrent, it is a, a bit faster, but they are currently the old version of this uh, tool. So I'm going to just go with sourceforge.net here. It will automatically start downloading the Athena operating system ISO file and you will have it just right here. So I'm going to just pause it because I have previously downloaded and the ISO file. It's about 2.8 gigabytes. And you have to wait for it to finish. And now let's go and create our virtual machine. Now that you have installed the Oracle virtual box, let's create a new virtual machine by clicking new, typing the name for our virtual machine. I'm going to name it Athena operating system. You can name it whatever you want. Choose the path where you want to install the Athena system or your virtual machine i'm gonna choose this path here you can choose whatever path that you want and also choose iso image that we just downloaded for thin operating system you can click here and other again i'm gonna use uh, it's located in my uh, virtual machines folder athena operating system i'm gonna just install it here and the type is choose linux and the version is it's arc linux 64 bit so click next for this, the minimum requirement for Athena OS is at least 4 gigabytes of RAM and two processors. So I'm gonna just go to two or maybe four processors. And here I'm gonna allocate about uh, eight gigabytes of RAM for a smooth run and click next. For the next part, that virtual hard disk space, the minimum requirement for the virtual hard disk is 20 gigabytes. But for this, I'm gonna just choose 30 gigabytes hard disk space for this virtual machine and click next although you can choose according to your own requirements maybe more than 30 gigabytes or at least that 20 gigabytes but it should not be less than 20 gigabyte gigabytes because it will not run smoothly next now it's the summary of this and let's finish so there are a few other settings that i want to configure before starting the virtual machine and come to select your uh, operating system, which is Athena OS. Come to display here. I want it to be a full ready memory to the maximum size of it because I want to run it smoothly. And that's it. So let's hit OK. So now that we have created our virtual machine, it's time to start it by clicking the start button here. Now it will boot the virtual machine and we will be able to install it. So now you have different options to boot. This video, I'm gonna go with boot Athena or the first option here. And if you have previously installed, but I'm sure you haven't, uh, you can just boot the existing operating system. 
it will boot the Arduino operating system. So now let's hit enter. Now it will take some time uh, to load all the files and boot the live uh, server view of the Arduino OS. So we can wait and just grab a cup of coffee. So now that Athena operating system is booted, now you can see a live uh, overview of the operating system or the Athena operating system. So there are two options here for you to install. You either have the option to install it offline or you can install it online. We will explore both of them, so don't worry about that. So if you check it now, you can see uh, it's pretty simple and uh, you can have access to different uh, tools like power exploit, uh, lists, and also payloads, all the things, for example, the bash shell. You even have access to cyber shift fast database and also R2 word lists and also security word lists. It's the welcome page of the Athena operating system. So now, uh, first I'm gonna demonstrate how you can install it online. I will uh, show you step by step by clicking here, online install. First, it will just check if your PC is connected to internet and also if it's plugged in. Now, choose your language, click next. Also the environment, which one do you want? If it's no desktop, if you want to use GNOME or you can use the Hyperlan. I'm going with GNOME. You can choose whichever option that suits you the best. Click next. Now you have the themes. You, you can choose from uh, Graphic Dark, Tweet Dark, Cyborg, Dropbox, uh, and also Akama uh, Kill, and also Blue Eyes, and also XXE. Whichever you want, you can just choose it. I'm going with Sweet Dark here. Let's uh, hit next. Now you will have uh, choose the login manager. You can choose the GNOME Display Manager here, the Light VM, or the SDDM. I'm gonna go with uh, GNOME Display Manager next. Now, which uh, packages or shells do you want to install? I'm going with Bash. So if you are familiar with fish or zsh shells you can choose whatever suits you the best i'm going with bash click next now what uh, terminal you're gonna use you have different options to choose i'm gonna just go with the gnome terminal the default terminal for gnome you can choose uh, you have this options you can choose whatever you want click next now which browsers uh, you have access to uh, if you want to use the brave browser firefox or Moonbot browsers that I haven't heard of it. And now it's my first time hearing it. So if you know, use the best for yourself. I'm going with Brave. Let's hit next. Now you have to choose the utilities. For example, I will use a screenshots. Um, for note taking apps, I'm gonna install all of them. Not the Obsidian, but Notion and Chair Tree. Uh, music apps no and also gpu utilities i'm using my pc so i don't need for this click next so now choose your uh, location for example if you're living in asia europe africa or north america i'm gonna go with chicago click next and also english us default next so here you will have the partition option. You can use manual partitioning or erase the disk. So I'm going because I don't have any operating system on the uh, partitioning that I have chosen. So I'm gonna just go with the erase disk. Next, here you will choose the users. Type your name, for example, and type your password. Choose your login information or login username, and also the name of the computer that you can leave it whatever it is or you can just change it, for example, Tina. That's it. So you have two more options here. You have the option to log in automatically without asking for the password, which is not a security seed. And also use the same password for the administrator account. You can choose another password for the administrator account that you only know, not every user, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. Click next. And this is the summary of the installation. So once you have all the settings set up, you can just click install and it will install it online on your uh, virtual box. For this, I'm gonna just cancel it because uh, show you how to install offline as well. So for this, let's click install online, offline. For the offline installation, you have just a few options here. You have just the option for location, keyboard, 
partitions, users, and that's it. So let's choose the American English for the location that's Chicago. Next, next, and also the same option here. Erase disk. Next, the user, for example, again the same thing. Password. Next, and also this is a summary. And once you hit install, it will install the Arduino operating system on your virtual box. So let's hit install. So for the installation, it may take some time. For that, I'm gonna just uh, let it finish and see you when it's finished. So now it's just installed and rebooting the system. So the system has boot up. So it's the login manager that we choose, the title password. So once you log in, you will have this view of the Athena operating system. So now we have successfully installed the Athena operating system. I will be comparing the Kali Linux and the Athena operating system in a separate video and compare it in details to find out which one is the best for you to use. Stay tuned for the next video. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think about the Athena operating system in the comments. Also, uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and also ring the bell so that you will not miss our future videos. And see you in the next week.